Hi folks, welcome to this next video on the MLS project. And in this video, I want to show you how it performs with Ardu Pilot and Mission Planner. And I did a similar video about a year ago, but lots of improvement have happened since then. And I want to show you the state of art as of today. And so first, let me show you the setup. So you want to use Ardu Pilot v4.3.4 uh, or even better v4.4.0 uh, dev version. And Mission Planner you also should use the latest, which is 1.379. And then here I have an ordinary transmitter. It's configured for CRSF. So I can show you this. Uh, so it's really a standard setup, right? And uh, in the back, we have an MLS module. So it's one which is working in the 86, 80 megahertz region. But what you're going to see works for all mo modules, all frequencies the same. And in addition, there's connected an ESP module, which allows us then to uh, connect uh, to the muffling stream wirelessly uh, with our PC. So then here we have an MLS module, a receiver module, which is connected to our flight controller. So very basic. And what I want to show you in the video are three things. But before I do that, I want to remind you that MLIS uh, provides three different modes, the 50 Hertz mode, the 31 Hertz mode and the 19 Hertz mode. And obviously the smaller the frequency, uh, the better the receiver sensitivity which means a large, the larger the range is you can get, but at the same time also the available data rate reduces. So here at 50 Hertz we have quite plenty and at 31 Hertz mode we have intermediate and in 19 Hertz mode it's so to say the most extreme uh, data rate which MLS uh, uh, provides. And I first want to show you the behavior for 31 Hertz mode and then we are going to the 19 Hertz mode. So let me show you the first case, that is we want to work in the 31 Hertz mode. So there are three, uh, two parameters which are relevant. And let me show this to you. So the first parameter is that we are in the 31 Hertz mode. And the second parameter is that the uh, CL baud rate on the receiver side is 57. Okay, so that's the situation. I also have um, uh, Yapu telemetry working. So that's a configuration which you really can easily reproduce. So now we have here our Wi-Fi module. So what we want to do now, so the, the, the link is connected. So you see this by the screen line, uh, LED. So let's uh, connect our Wi-Fi thing. So we have here, okay. So let's, uh, let's give it a bit of a chance to connect it. Right, and then we are going. So we should be. Then we are going to open Mission Planner, and you see it's immediately connecting, and now it's downloading the parameters already. So you have heard the bings, which are coming from the Yapu telemetry script. Et voilà, we have downloaded all the parameters. We are ready to go. Uh, just to show you that this is really working as fast as you have seen it, you can go here to the parameters and just refresh your par the parameters. So that's the behavior in 31 Hertz mode. And that's of course not all that you can do. I mean, you of course can also um, let me load a, a mission. Oh, this was a short one. Let's uh, know. Uh, let's use this uh, longer one, so it's, which is about more points. So let's write this. So it's something like 50 points or 100 points or something like this. Let's see. Hundred thirty five points. OK, so we also can read it. Right, so yes, so this is just to demonstrate you how smooth and uh, relatively fast uh, all this works, right? And this is just the 31 Hertz mode. Okay, 
Okay, so that's one thing you can do. Then another thing which also works uh, smoothly is that you can do MUF FTP even. Right, so you see everything comes here smoothly and quick. You can go to uh, somewhere. So I have actually here loaded a script. Right, so we can download the script uh, if we want to. So we save it to somewhere. Let's save it to desktop or into this dumb thing here. Oh no, let's take it as desktop. So, okay. Okay, so here we have the script downloaded, right? We can open it now. So we have here all, everything has been downloaded here, right? So even MuffFTP works nice. So let me just show you that also the, the stream rates are not very spectacular. So I mean, this are just the default stream rates. Um, yep, right? So it's not tuned for minimum stream rates or something like this. These are the ordinary mission planner stream rates, which you just, just have seen. Okay, so this uh, should show you that in 31 Hertz mode, this obviously works pretty smooth and well. Now next go to the 19 Hertz mode. And in this configuration, we will choose the 19 Hertz. Uh, And, but we will leave the uh, sealed baud rate for the receiver side at 57. So what the effect of this will be that the parameters are now not uploaded via MUF FTP, but via ordinary parameter upload protocol. So this gives you an indication of uh, what happens when you would have just an ordinary parameter upload uh, and not MUF FTP. Okay, so let's save this. RF signal low. Okay, we should be fine. So we are now in 19 Hertz mode at 57 baud rate. Right, so here again, YARPU is working fine. Okay, so now we can again connect to Mission Planner. Right, so let's go here to this page. It's a bit nicer. Um, and now we, of course, we have not restarted it, so therefore we had to press UDP. So now it tries MUF FTP for about three seconds. It realizes it can't do it, so it jumps to normal parameter upload. So here you can get an impression how smoothly and fast this is working in the 19 Hertz mode. So this is the mode with the lowest available bandwidth and with the largest available range you can achieve. So it clearly takes a bit longer since uh, it's the ordinary thing, but nevertheless, considering the low bandwidth, which is available, done. So now again, you can also do the missions, right? So we can uh, do the right here. So we can see how fast this works. So this is the slow right. I could have done the right fast. It works also when it's a bit faster, of course, um, so you know that. So I just want to show you the extreme behavior, right? Done, so we also can read. So it's a bit boring, but I want you to see this in real time. So I'm not going to cut this out or shorten in any way. So that's the real behavior. Okay, done. We also can do MUF FTP, but MUF FTP is going to be a bit slower now, 
but it still works, right? So we can do the same thing as before. I should delete this file here because you're going to down, huh? right? So when I go here, right? So everything is a bit more laggy, but it works. So we go again to desktop. So this is a 19 hertz mode. So that's the slowest, that's the mode with the lowest bandwidth available or provided by MLIS. Yeah, so we also got it here, right? So it's complete. So everything is here. Okay, so this was what I wanted to show you in the 19 hertz mode with baud rate of 57. Now what you're going to do next is the following, that we change, that we stay with the 19 hertz mode, but we change the baud rate on the receiver to 38. And what the effect of this is that in the this baud rate, with this lower baud rate, um, one can use now again a parameter upload with MUF FTP, which is going to be pretty fast, even in the 19 hertz mode. So we are still connected in this uh, normal mode. So what we, oh, sorry, what we're going to do is we are going here to our parameters. We are going down to the ceiling, which we are using. It's this one, I hope. So we set it to 38. Then we write it. Okay. And what we have to do now is to disconnect and to reboot the flight controller. Okay. So we close this. Um, so I, I disconnect the flight controller here to reboot it. And before we do that, actually what I do, uh, okay, the receiver is not working when anymore when it's unpowered. So let's, let's repower it. Okay, so and at this time, we are also changing here the configuration. So we are staying in 19 hertz mode, but we are changing now the baud rates on the receiver side to 38. RF signal critical. Okay. So again, here's our Yapu, right? So all this is the same. Okay, so let's try to do this mission planner trick again. So let's go again to this page because I just like. So let's connect again. So hopefully we are still connected here. Yes, this is still good. So we just can go and run. And now you see that it's now even in the 19 hertz mode, it goes with MUF FTP. And just watch how fast this is going. Yeah, that's in 19 hertz mode even, right? So just to confirm <laughs> you again that this is really as fast, we can do this refresh. That's how it's working. And just to show you also that there's nothing special with the, with the stream rates. So these are the default mission planner stream rates, right? So not optimized or tuned or minimized or whatever. When again, all the other function in this 90 Hertz mode, this 